Happy Monday! This week's topic is sugar and how to give it up because I think a lot of us know that sugar has been linked to so many diseases and it's one of the best ways to improve your health is to by giving it up. So I want to invite you this week to join me. I'm giving up sugar too. And if you'd like to give it up, if you'd like to reduce it or eliminate it altogether from your diet, I want to support you in that. And I'm also asking for your support to help me as well as I'm giving this up again too, because I've noticed it creeping into my diet. It shows up under so many different names in so many different ways in food products. So anything you're buying in a can, a box, a bag, if it's not a whole piece of fruit or, you know, very plain food, whole foods, you're probably getting more sugar than you know. So I'm going to give you a couple examples. One of them is something called ketchup. (laughs) So a lot of us think of ketchup as more of a vegetable type food, but there is one teaspoon per one tablespoon serving of ketchup. That's about one third of that tablespoon of ketchup that you're putting on your fries or your burger is sugar. So think about that. If you're eating French fries, would you just sprinkle a teaspoon of sugar over the top of them? And let's be honest, how many people stop at one tablespoon of ketchup? It's not much, right? So think about that. The other one I wanted to point out is soda, and I think everybody's probably heard the statistics about soda, but just to give you a little more perspective on it, one can of soda, a 12-ounce can of soda, contains 10 teaspoons of sugar. That's one teaspoon of sugar per ounce of drink. Is there anything else in the world that you would put a teaspoon of sugar per ounce in and drink? That sounds really sweet, right? But we are all doing it every day. So my inner cave woman, she pops up once in a while to help me make better food choices that are more aligned with how nature intends us to eat. And today she said, you know what? If you wanted to have one teaspoon of sugar, you'd have to chew through three feet of hard fibrous sugar cane. I mean, imagine how long that would take you. And just to give you a little perspective, three feet is approximately the length of your arm plus the distance from your shoulder to your nose. So your arm plus half of your body (laughs) width. Could you imagine chewing through that for one teeny tiny teaspoon of sugar? Not likely, right? Um, She also says, well, what about honey, right? Like this just comes from bees and you can just eat it how it is. And imagine fighting off a swarm of bees to get a little honey for your tea. It's probably not going to happen very often. So these are the kind of things that help me gauge how much of these different nutrients should really be in my diet. And with those examples, I think you can see that rather than a third of our diet, like you're going to get in ketchup or a third of your soda, that really it should only be a teeny tiny part of what you're getting. Now, some of the things that soda is linked to are like diabetes, which is fairly obvious. Most people have heard of that, but it's also been linked to things like heart disease, premature aging, rashes, wrinkles, and any number of internal disorders. You know, it affects your liver, your kidneys, and pretty much every cell in your body it can affect. So, With that in mind, I just, again, want to ask you to join me on my Facebook page this week, and let's talk about sugar, how hard it is to give up, because there's so many studies that tell about how it's sugar is more addictive than cocaine, even. So I think it's just so important for us to, whether you choose to or not, I'm not the food police, but I do think it's good to be educated about the things that we're eating and just make rational decisions about it rather than just going with the flow and being ignorant about the things we're putting in our body because everything you eat is building your body every day. Every cell is made of what you eat and you should have control over what that means for you, okay? So if you have any comments, please, as always, join me on my website. I'm always there at colleen-bean.com 
or hit me over on Facebook this week where we'll be talking more about sugar. And I hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions, as always, please do reach out to me. I love hearing from you. So talk to you soon. Bye.